Hi, I'm Rob Mitchell, lead trader and developer at IndicatorSmart.com and the OilTradingRoom.com. Thanks for joining me today for today's presentation, Trading Conditional Probabilities, Stacking the Deck in Your Favor for a High Win Percentage. First off, past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. There's a risk of loss trading futures. Always use risk capital that you can use for trading and that will help you to stay focused on the process of trading and some of those techniques we will cover today. In my years of training traders, I've found the single most important thing a trader can benefit from is his high win percentage. When you win a lot, it works with natural psychology and aligns things in your favor for creating an emotional success cycle that leads to more success. In this article, we'll cover how to do these probabilities to line things in your favor in a manner that is easy and fun. Certain patterns occur over and over again in various markets, and there are many of them. And such patterns can be used for what, what we're about to do today in this presentation. The most basic way to compute if something is in your favor is just to count it. This is super easy. So, for example, how often or what percentage of the time does the market move a given number of ticks off of the open each day? Well, we can simply count it up and make a summary of it. In the chart that you see here, in the indicator at the bottom, we have the daily ranges. Just about any trading package can do this for you. It's currently reading 0.96 in that plot in the bottom, over on the right-hand side in red, meaning we've gone 96 ticks so far today of range off of the open. And this uh, market here is crude oil. And in that market, that equates to about $960 worth of movement per contract. There's a magenta horizontal line on that same plot, and that's set to 68 ticks. Why? Because in this market, we hit that number a very large percentage of the time. Let's count it up. There are 33 days on this chart, and so how many days go through that line? If you count them, you'll see only two days do not. So that means 31 out of 33 days went the equivalent of $680 of movement off of the open. 31 divided by 33 is 94%. So that means in this market we get $680 of movement 94% of the time. That's an amazing number. And what if you could catch half of that, or even a quarter of it for that matter, 94% of the time? If this number continues, you'd only be wrong about 16 days of the year. And you could add that up for different levels. I just use 68 because I like that number and because it's such a high percentage and it makes trading a lot of fun when you find a number like that. So what if you could line up another simple measure that would help you to trade toward that above goal and you knew how to combine the summaries that you'd prepared in a way that's increased or added towards your chance of success, making it even better than 94%. We call that a conditional probability, which is really just a fancy way of saying two things work together in your favor when they line up. There's a mathematical formula for that that we see below, and I'm going to cover how that works. And I'm even going to show you um, how to uh, do that without having to use the formula, but we'll go through it just to learn uh, how it works here. Well, it might look a little bit complicated, but it's really pretty simple once you play with it a bit and get an intuitive sense of how it works. For this, I've posted a link for you to download a simple spreadsheet at the end of the presentation for this purpose. So it's real easy, and I'll show you that uh, spreadsheet in a minute. Basically, what the formula is doing is the same thing we did above. Remember, we just counted the number of days that met a certain criteria. And it's dividing the two numbers or probabilities, but on the bottom of the equation, it's also adding in the product of the differences, That this little portion of the formula right here. And so it's pretty basic when you get down to it. 
play with the sheet later on after you get that. And, um, and then uh, notice also the following guidelines as you do that. So if two inputs sum to 100, then the probability is 50%. If you have two numbers that are greater than 68% each, the resulting probability will be better than 82% in your favor. With one of the numbers, if one of the numbers is 100%, then the result will be 100%, and if one of the numbers is 0%, then the result will be 0%. So I could just pull down the spreadsheet here and key a couple of those in just to look at them. So if we had... Uh, you know, 75, for example, and 25, it's going to be 50%. That's that first one right there, right? If I have 68 and 68, and remember, you'll have this sheet that you can play around with. You get 82% in your favor. If either one of those numbers is 100%, that's going to be 100, of course. And if any one of them is 0, it's just going to be 0%, because 100 and 0 will dominate that. So just taking a look at that. things and like what we just covered is I like to just make some general rules of thumb like you saw 68 and 68 is 82 but I, I really like to get numbers that are better than 80 percent and I really like numbers that are better than 90 percent a lot so once you learn a few trading patterns and put them together like what we've done above for example you can start to do this fluently with a little bit of practice so what's another really great way that you can find some of these patterns well I like to use what we call the three period probability walk that I've developed for this purpose so this table allows me to make predictions every 30 minutes of the day walking forward that's why we call it the probability walk just simple language for that and what's nice about that is, for example, in crude oil, the, from the chart that we looked at a minute ago, there are 11 of those periods each day. So I can just look at the market each 30 minutes. 11 times a day, I can kind of reevaluate how these numbers might line up. So seeing the market in this perspective is really comfortable because it helps me manage my energy and my time while I'm trading, for example. And it also provides a nice structure for understanding how the market works. And this often reveals other highly usable patterns in time, you'll just start seeing things that you never would have otherwise seen. And so it's a really fun process of discovery also. Let's take a look below at the three period probability walk table that is a year, it's based on a year's worth of data and see what kinds of opportunities exist just within that framework. Now here's the probability walk table. Let me explain what some of those uh, what some of those different patterns are showing you. This table is organized by period of the day, and in this market it's showing A through K, A through K right along here in the left margin, and then uh, that's for the 11 30 minute periods of the day, and then it's also showing minus one and minus two period. I do that so it I have a number before the day starts, so uh, we're ready to go on the open of the day. I want to bring your attention to two of the numbers in these columns for each period of the day. One is the first bar percent, that's this guy right here, and the other is the third bar percent, that's uh, this one over here. The first bar percent tells us how likely it is for the market to trade back through that period once it's gone out the other side of it. So for example, once C period takes out either side of B period, it's about 80%, 78.39% once that event occurs, not to go back through the other end of it for the next two periods or the next hour. I call that protected. Once one side of B is taken out, it's 80%, almost 80% that it will not go out the other side of it. And so that's, uh, that's pretty powerful. Then in the third bar percent, it tells exactly how likely it is for the market to continue for the next two 30-minute periods continuing uh, forward. So for here, for example, in the I period, it says 89.58% for the 30-minute periods to go in sequence. So it'll go I period, J period, and then K period into the close of the day. So either that would be a higher high or a lower low continuing 
in that interval of the day. You could just use this table for all the data, just taking both of those inputs from the same table. And this is especially true where you have good values. For example, like the IJK that we just discussed. These are real uh, gold mine patterns around uh, IJK period of the day. So let's take a look at how we might use this. So for the first and third bar percent, we had 60.42 and 89.58 respectively. If I put those two values into the formula, and we just use our spreadsheet to do that, so we'd have 60.42 60 and we'd have 89.58 and we'd key those in and we would get 93% when you add those two probabilities together using the theorem. And so when you see that sequencing, once you've seen that one side of that taken out, you know you're going to go that way about 93% of the time when the conditions are right. So if at that point we haven't gone 68 ticks, remember earlier we discussed 68 ticks, we know that we hit 68 ticks about 94% of the time. And so we could also introduce that into our formula to show an even better probability. So in this market we go 68 ticks 94% of the time and then we have these other probabilities and then we can just add that into the formula. And so if I do that here, I'll just put the 94 in here and that'll give me 100% probability. Now, do I actually expect to get 100% under these circumstances? No, but I know it's way up there in my favor. Over time, they'll stack up way in your favor. Because the patterns are broken sometimes. But I know things are substantially in my favor by knowing these things. And I'm also identifying these patterns as they're occurring live in real time. Which, as I said, opens up the door for a lot of learning. And recognizing other patterns that we've developed in our trading rooms over the years that, uh, that help you to get into really high probability trades over and over again, especially earlier in the day when you haven't hit those range targets. So the orders from other traders, what happens to traders that are going the other way and fading these things? Well, their orders are like, their stop orders are likely to fuel your winnings. And you tend to stay on the right side and not be one of the 95% of traders who are likely to lose. And so, but always remember, past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. There's a risk of loss trading. And so be wise about the way you approach these things and build your account accordingly. There are a lot of other high value patterns and high percentage patterns that we can feed into this kind of thinking and we can have a lot of fun doing it. There's no end to the patterns really. We have. Um, any number of patterns. We have about a dozen patterns in the room that we use, but some of the patterns themselves are around 85%. And when you combine them with these others, you get super high probabilities like we saw above. We have some more advanced three period probability walk tables also. Like for example, we break it down by the time of the day, but also for the day of the week. And so those will help us with specific cases on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, etc. Some of those have uh, super high percentages in them that you can use to interpret what, what it is that the market's doing. And we use and teach these patterns and other advanced concepts and high probability, high quality, reliable trading patterns in the oil trading room every day. And these concepts can be applied in any market. So if you're interested in learning more about this, the formula we're using above is derived from Bayes' theorem. And uh, Bayes was a Presbyterian minister, and he came up with this for solving various problems, just like the ones that uh, we've solved in this uh, little mini webinar here. So if you'd like to learn more in an applied learning environment, and in a way that has even more of an edge than these examples that I've given you, join us at the oil trading room where I teach these patterns each trading day in the morning for a couple of hours. So what are some of the benefits in the trading room. Well, 
You can learn high probability price action patterns that I mentioned a moment ago that you can integrate into your consciousness that empower you as a trader and that you can use in any market. We have advanced trap trader oscillator patterns that give us high percentages also and smart momentum patterns benefit in a room. We have a lot of world-class traders in the room who share their ideas and insights and their methods. So a lot of learning going on there. Learn secrets of trend and range expansion and combine stats like we've done here and benefit from smart trading system and its thousands of hours of member use and refinement. Benefit from special content geared around personal development and personal growth that's critical to your development as a trader. Discover things about markets you can learn nowhere else, like what we've covered in this video also. And discover these things in a way that you can make you independent and at cause in your life for self-empowerment that goes way beyond just trading. So learn key elements and concepts in trading design and trading systems and how to approach the market from a higher level so you can see, hear, and feel what the lower levels are doing. And do all the above in an environment that's supportive of high levels of personal growth and development and applicable in any market much, much more. So I promised you a Bayes spreadsheet and I'm going to give you a link now so that you can go grab that and not just grab that but also uh, get some links for some more information and also a special uh, coupon code special offer there for you. For that, go to oiltradingroom.com slash BT1. oiltradingroom.com slash BT1. oiltradingroom.com slash BT1. I'd like to thank you for joining me today for this presentation and enjoy playing with the sheet. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me through the oiltradingroom.com or indicatorsmart.com. Thanks for joining me today, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.